Recap 2024. From zero to hero. Men and brethren in the house, the youth of this nation, the Lagos province, 19 youth. The, we have the PICP here. The youth of Be the Best. We thank God for this um, 10th anniversary of Recap and this wonderful program. I'm excited at today's event and I believe that it's going to be the best that we have ever had in the name of Jesus. Recap 2024 Zero to Hero This moment we'll be receiving a very short remark, a hopeful remark and um, it will be given by no other person than our very own convener, the original pastor for Region 11. Please put your hands together for Pastor Femi Amino. Recap 2024. We give God all the glory for helping us all through to this 10th edition. Our esteemed speakers, luminaries of wisdom and experience, stand before us. Their words, like compass needle, will guide us through uncharted waters. Recap, my friend. It's more than an event. I know you're excited. I know you are seated. I know you look well dressed. But much more important will be what you will use and how you apply the words of wisdom that will come from our luminaries. So be different, not indifferent. Let your minds be sponges, soaking up wisdom and every word that will come forth from here. One thing you must know in life, you must continue to learn. You must have clear goals. Have clear goals about what you want to become in life. Where do you want to be in 10 years' time? What do you want to become in 5 years' time? You need to set your goal. And don't look at what other people are doing to set your own goal. Your background is of no moment. It is what you make of yourself that matters. No matter how intelligent you are, you need a mentor who is experienced. Those of us in law, we used to say this, that the life of law is not measured by logic. It is measured by experience. Zero to Hero embodies an unusual journey of transformation where an individual rises from a state of insignificance or failure to one of significance and success. And of course, this journey is often characterized by substantial personal growth, overcoming adversity, I've told you, and achieving significant set goals. It is the absence of relationship with God that is still keeping some of us in the destruction that we experience today. To fulfill destiny, there are some people you need to keep a good relationship with in order to fulfill destiny. Where money as a currency will fail, relationship as a currency will always strive. Relationships are very important. You are as strong as your network. Fashion changes, the ways of life changes, but the word of God never changes. Sisters, if you sell yourself cheap, they will buy you cheap, all right? So guard your garden, preserve it, Keep it for the one that God has ordained for it. If you dispense it anyhow, when the time comes, it will not be valued. You only get better at what you practice doing. If you're not practicing, if you're not doing anything, you can't get better at it. But the quality of your ideas and your execution is dependent on how much you've tried to solve a lot of problems in the past most important decision you'd ever make for yourself it is knowing your own identity sometimes when you make a move if you play a good move you can win and if you play a bad move you can lose you will lose so you should know yourself and find your own identity because that identity is what the world will judge you for are you going to become a victim of the identity that life chose for you or you are going to forge a new identity